Welcome back learners. Today in my virtual lab, I will be discussing evaluation for efficacy of disinfectant. Evaluation for efficacy of disinfectant. Okay. So you know that what is disinfectant? Those which can remove microorganisms from the inanimate object. So you know that what is the reason of evaluating its efficacy is because you know the process of establishing, establishing documented evidence. So it is the process of establishment of documented evidence that a disinfectant will constant, consistently remove. So the disinfectant will consistently remove consistently remove okay or inactivate known or possible pathogens from sample so inactivate known or possible pathogens from sample Okay, so this is basically the whole thing. Now, you know that there has to be some method of determining this particular uh, disinfectant. So, you know, if you say that why we want to evaluate the disinfectant, then we can say it may lose potency. It may lose potency on standing. So, if it is on standing, for long time it can lose potency it may lose potency on addition to organic matter so lose potency potency on addition to organic matter okay then are required in critical areas like hospitals and lab so they are used in critical areas like hospitals and labs okay so for all the three reasons efficacy must be tested okay so what are the tests which will determine its efficacy though we will not discuss those tests over here but i will highlight those one is your carrier test next is your suspension test next is your capacity test practical test and your field test so these are the tests which is basically being done for the efficacy of your disinfectant so I will not focus on those tests, rather I will directly move on to your suspension test. And in suspension test, you understand what I am saying that suspension test means when the organism is in suspension. And when we are talking of suspension test, suspension test is further classified as your qualitative suspension test, quantitative suspension test and your phenol coefficient test. So phenol coefficient test or object of discussion today okay so you know this method is used for evaluating the effectiveness of disinfectant it is also being evaluated this is evaluated by riddle walker method we also call it riddle walker method and usually two organisms are taken into account for this test one is your Staphylococcus aureus and another is your Salmonella typhi. Okay. Are used for testing and dilution of phenol and experimental disinfectant are inoculated with this two organism at 20 to 37 degrees centigrade for 2 to 3 days. 
okay so you know that uh, the standard which is being taken over here is your phenol standard and your test disinfectant test disinfectant is basically being compared with your phenol standard okay and you know that uh, the phenol coefficient or your little worker test is basically determining the ratio of dilution of test disinfectant by dilution so dilution of test disinfectant i will tell you the condition later so what will be that condition at which you will take the dilution so dilution of test disinfectant by your dilution of your phenol standard standard i will always mention over here under specified condition so what is that condition i will be discussing to you okay so two main method is used to perform this phenol coefficient test and we are focusing today on your riddle worker method so it is your riddle worker method so there is another method also which is called as chick martin method martin test so we will be not discussing that because it's not there in the syllabus so it is riddle worker method so i will move on to the procedure so in this procedure what you get to see that you take this disinfectant and your phenol and you see this is your test organism which is 24 hour old so you have taken the four different dilutions of your test disinfectant and four different dilutions of your phenol and you have inoculated your test organism and you have incubated the test organism exposed the test organism to the test disinfectant and phenol and what is your exposure time your exposure time is your 2.5 minutes 7.5 minutes 7.5 minutes and your 10 minutes so you see that you have inoculated each test tubes after 2.5 minutes 7 by uh, 5 minutes 7.5 minutes and your 10 minutes so both you have do this for your test and your control or your sorry your standard that is your phenol standard right and then you incubate it for 24 hours 24 to 48 hours maybe okay at 37 degrees centigrade to find out that whether the growth is occurring in the plates or not so this red color indicates microbial cell killed and this green color indicate that microbial cells still persisting so you see that in this particular test at this dilution 1 by 1200 you get to see that the organism is growing at 5 minutes but not at 7.5 minutes okay so that is the basic dilution i told you that a condition is there that is a uh, dilution at which the organism will be killed at 7.5 minutes but not in 5 minutes <coughs> is the dilution which will be taken for your riddle worker coefficient the same thing occurs in the phenol coefficient the phenol coefficient also sorry in the phenol also you get to see that the growth is occurring at your 5 minutes but not at 7.5 minutes so again i will take this specific dilution <coughs> so if you further see it it is much more easier way of representation of the whole thing so these are the dilutions which are given over here and you see the growth at 2.5 5 7.5 and 10 so i have already circled you see at 1 is to 600 growth has occurred at 5 minutes but not at 7.5 minutes and for your phenol the growth has occurred at your 5 minutes but not at 7. 5 minutes so what is your riddle worker coefficient it is your dilution of test organism sorry dilution of your disinfectant killing microorganisms at 7.5 not at 5 that dilution you need to take by the dilution of phenol bringing about the same effect killing microorganisms at 7.5 but not at 5 minutes so if i take this particular value at wc you know it is your 1 by 600 divided by 1 by 100 
so it is your 600 by 100 and the value is 6 so your rwc coefficient the little worker coefficient is your 6 so you know that there is a standard value so if it is 1 1 is the standard value and if it is less than 1 less than 1 that means what that means your test disinfectant is less efficient with respect to that of your phenol okay and if it is more than 1 if it is more than 1 so your disinfectant is more efficient with respect to phenol now how much efficient it will depend upon the rw coefficient right if it is 0 0.5 0 0.5 as less efficient as that of your phenol so like this way since the standard value is 1 less than 1 will have less efficacy with respect to phenol and more than 1 will have more efficacy with respect to phenol so this is your rwc coefficient so for your uh, easy understanding so i have also tried to show you i don't know whether this will be activated or not So, you know that uh, this is a YouTube link which I have actually pasted. So, let's see that whether it will be opening or not. So this is a YouTube video which I have taken from the internet and uh, you know since this is a virtual lab so uh, that is why I have taken some good videos that can help in enriching your knowledge. So I will always as I, I will acknowledge Pharma Academy to, uh, uh, for sharing this video and I have utilized this video in my video lecture. So this is the test disinfectant and the stock solution and it is being basically put into the four different test tube with different stock solution and then this is the phenol and this is the stock solution again and here you get to see the concentration is a bit different 1 by 100, 1 by 20, 140 okay and 160 and now what you do you add the test microorganism at 24 after 24 hours old and then after you just expose this for 2.5 minutes, 5 minutes, 7.5 minutes and 10 minutes and you see whether the microorganisms are killed or not killed. So for that what you do is that you start inoculating into the plates and you see that we have started inoculating into the plates and all the plates are inoculated and red indicates the organisms are being killed and green indicate the organism is not killed. So you see I have see, shared the box. But you see that at 1 by 1200, organism is killed at 7.5 but not at 5. Again, in the phenol also at 1 by 120, the organisms are killed at 7.5 minutes but not at your 5 minutes. So what is your riddle worker coefficient? Higher concentration of test disinfectant that kills microorganism in 7.5 minutes but not in 5 minutes. Okay, divided by higher concentration of phenol that kills microorganism in 7.5 minutes but not kill in 5 minutes. So that equation I have written in my video. So it is 1200 as you can see 1 by 1200 and 120. So it is 10. So the test disinfectant is 10 times more efficient than that of phenol. So this particular video suggests that the test disinfectant is uh, more important or more 10 times more stronger than phenol and you know the disadvantage and limitations of riddle worker test is no organic matter include, included so does not give the same result in actual condition so there is no organic matter that is why chick martin coefficient is there only one organism so it does not give idea about disinfectant power against other organism okay time period of disinfectant is short thus effectiveness of your slower of slower acting disinfectant is not tested by this method 
थैंक यू